What's up, Buck Dog with Dean in the garage? We are here tonight to answer a very simple question. Can we unseize a string trimmer with compressed air? Here's the long and the short of it. We're going to keep this quick. What you're looking at here is a string trimmer of the Ryobi variety, the SS30, bought from my favorite store, the one on the far side of that white line. You know what I'm talking about. Picked her up, brought her home, dumped her out back, put her up for sale. Got a bite on it today. Came home, said, well, we got to make sure that she runs. And spoiler alert, she doesn't run. She's pretty well seized up tight. Um, I have torn off what I need to to confirm that it is, in fact, mechanically locked up inside. You can see the clutch is spinning free here. Open, you can see that recoil. You can see it spins until it hits a wall. And the harder you pull, you're just stretching that cord. So it's not a recoil issue. And then here we pulled the muffler and you can see that piston is not really showing any signs of vertical scoring or any real issues. A little dirty, but that's about it. So I don't think this thing was run light on oil. Glancing down that uh, hole there, we can actually read some numbers on the top of the piston. You can tell that it's intact. Don't see any debris. We pulled the plug. Well, she's dirty, but no signs of mechanical damage or being run without oil. In fact, it's pretty well fouled. I'm thinking it was definitely run on mixed gas. So what could have happened to this thing? Why did it seize? You can see down here, we pulled the crankcase cover off. And you can see, I mean, it's definitely, I'm pushing as hard as I can on it. It's not budging a bit, but there's no sign of damage. So I have no reason to believe that it's anything more than the piston stuck in the cylinder for God knows what reason. I can't find any indication that it should be seized. Anyway, that's not the point. We've all been up against one of these before. A lot of ways you can get them unseized. I wanted to try today my air compressor. I found one of these air fittings that happens to screw down into this hole. It is not actually the same thread, but it is darn, darn, darn close. And it threads down enough threads that I don't think it's gonna immediately pull right out. So my thinking is, I have some of this old air hose. Let's see if we can't, uh, how far on can we get this thing? Maybe we gotta heat it up. Hose clamp, what do y'all think? If I could get it over that barb, that would be awesome. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh. Let's see. Oh yeah, money. Look at that. Now we'll let it cool. <laughs> Forget about it. When that cools, that ain't coming off ever. That's a piece of that thing now. I don't know, on the other side, when the uh, ends started looking a little crispy, that was when she was done. I guess about how far we'll go again. Right. Give that a second to cool as well. Alrighty, friends. Three, two, one. Oh, yep. Just blew past the rings. Ah, the piston's too far. Huh, I'll have to check the footage. I think it moved it down a little bit. Could we see two rings before? I should have thought of that. If I could see the rings, it's not far enough up. All right, well, that didn't work. Let's try something else. All right, friends, here's something I've had success with on string trimmers and other real small engines like this. Let's take an extension that will fit and just lightly tap to see if it's, if it's a little bit stuck, it might break free. We obviously don't want to punch a hole in the top of the piston. Check the exhaust for progress. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no progress. That little bugger is stuck. I don't mind telling you. Let's see if we can go the other way. I just don't see anything. There's no bits or bobs or any indication. I'm gonna fill it up with WD-40. 
I mean fill it with WD-40. Is it draining out the exhaust? Nope. Is it draining into the crankcase? Nope. So let's let all that sit. Is it? No. No, it's all draining out, I guess. Where's it going? I wonder if it's draining back into the carburetor. Uh, no, piston shouldn't be low enough for that. I'm still trying to make this a short one. We'll, uh, we'll have to revisit this tomorrow when she's had the evening to eat. Alrighty, friends. Day two. Sat there for almost 24 hours with, uh, whole mess of WD-40 in there. Let's see if it loosened anything up. Definitely drained out all over the bench, which was to be expected. For a couple taps from above. Am I drunk or does it look like that connecting rod is moving? Oh, it is! Look over here. Look over here. You see that in the camera? You can see the top of the piston now. I don't know if you all can see that very well. Pretty good. Let's, um... Let's continue around, see if we can't get a whole revolution. Ideally, you'd find some way to work it back and forth, but I don't really want to pry here. I don't feel like taking the front end apart, though. Let's see if we can't just tap it through whatever this tight spot is. A little more WD for the, uh, for the ride. So it's going to be hard now because the top of the piston is exposed, so... do anything but all right let's see is it really moving maybe not maybe it isn't moving yeah i think the problem is uh we're nearing the bottom of the stroke now yeah it did move Definitely did move. Oh, there we go. Uh, I know y'all can't maybe see, but oh yeah, there we go. Uh, starting to move. Alrighty, friends, one of the reasons I love messing with side of the road machinery. You don't have to give two darns. You can do some crazy stuff because this thing's going in the bin regardless. There's like a 2% chance I get it running, but any other outcome involves it going in the bin or getting parted out anyway. So we got her in the vise here. We cranked her down good and tight. Probably about one Newton away from cracking that casing. And I just started working her around with this big long persuasion stick by Craftsman. I'm sure you've seen them. I was just sort of prying on the sides here and I was walking it all the way around. I'm there we go, boys. She's free. Now, all I care about, the only thing I want to know. Oh, is there enough compression in there? I'm not even going to put the muffle on for it to bark. Let's put a little two-stroke down the old hole there. Put that cylinder up. Well, whatever. Take your bets. Think she'll bark? Do you think she will bark? Do you think? Of course she will. Why wouldn't it? No reason not to. <laughs> you heard it, that thing barked. <laughs> That's so 10 out of 10. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can't get this thing back together. Maybe she's worth 50 bucks. From totally seized to, uh, I, wanna, I wanna do that again, let me hear that again. I'm totally seized to this. <laughs> oh, 10 out of 10. All right. I know this was a short one, but uh, if you like the video, like the video, leave me a comment down there in the squawk box. Are you doing this kind of stuff? Or you wouldn't even think about picking one of these up and messing around with it. I know, I know. I'm in the minority. Anyway, let me comment down in the squawk box. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.